Welcome to the irrigation station. Today we're going to be talking about plant water status and how to use a pressure chamber. If this is your first time, I encourage you to reference back to the irrigation continuum and you can flip directly to page 126 and this will go over the how to's on using a pressure chamber. Today we'll be using a gas powered chamber. There's a manual pump up versus the gas. Today we're just going to be using the gas. The first thing we need to do is pick out our orchard and pick out our trees. So I like to start with some flagging tape. It can be any color, but just try to keep it consistent. You're gonna to wanna to mark out anywhere between five and 10 trees that are representative of the rest of the orchard. So when selecting a leaf, be sure to find one more towards the center of the canopy around shoulder height. It's also a good idea to find one with a longer petiole, as this will be helpful in getting our measurements later. Be careful when bagging that we don't actually break the stem, they can break easily at times. Now what this does is it takes the leaf back to equilibrium with the rest of the tree. So as we wait our 10 minutes for that bag to be ready to sample, here's some tips for making this to be a smooth and easy process. The first thing we want to do is lube the top of the chamber. I like to use some chapstick. You'll also need a magnifying glass. I use a 10X jeweler's loop, but any magnifying glass that you're comfortable with will work for this. As well as a razor blade. Now when we're setting this to make sure that it's going at the right rate, we wanna make sure that on our gauge that we're only going about a half a bar per second. And with this particular pressure chamber, the adjustment knob is over here on our right hand side. From the time you cut the leaf to the taking your reading you have about a minute to do that. Just put your finger inside the little teepee here and put that in there giving yourself enough petiole exposed to be able to make the reading. Take your magnifying glass and then make sure that your readings are moving about a half a bar per second. Now you'll take the reading as soon as moisture starts to come out to the tip of the petiole. If it starts to fizz you've gone too far. So once moisture starts to come out of the tip of the petiole, stop and record your reading. And after we get done taking the rest of it, we'll take an average and compare it back to this chart on page 132 to make sure that we're in the ideal location for the time of year. If your readings are more than one to two bars in variation, you should go back and resample those trees. Now we're gonna take those measurements back to our office and incorporate those into our irrigation schedule. Now remember, the pressure chamber is our only tool that really tells us the stress the tree is under. And making sure that we're growing that tree throughout the season in the correct targeted stress window is key to a healthy and strong crop. Bring up that energy. Mm -hmm. Sorry, it's an exciting topic. Get the light right. I guess, sir. Wait, my headphones are coming off. You're making my dad's eye look good. <laughs> oh my gosh, it's gonna be a lot of outtakes. At least he's still smiling. <laughs>